hey guys hi and oh, welcome to the video so this video i want to essentially teach you you know about kubernetes how you can break up your big massive yml files into multiple sub yml files right and how you can essentially manage configuration with a tool called as customize uh, so for example the goal or the idea is to have deployment.yaml service.yaml autoscaling.yaml and then essentially call all those yaml in a customized customized uh, dot file yaml file right and then how we can apply patches for different environment which means for qa testing or for dev testing i just need two replicas but when i essentially do a production test i want to have 10 replicas so instead of copy pasting yaml hard coding stuff we can use this tool called customize let me show you a demo and we'll go uh, into details uh, shortly so here is the official website. I encourage everybody to come here and read a little bit more here if you are interested. And of course, there are amazing talks, right? The way I educate myself is I, may, I usually watch, you know, sessions and talks. That's how I learn the best and the most out of it, right? So um, now, previously, you remember we had so many massive files. So this this lab, that is lab number six, I have organized my projects, essentially, if you see into multiple yml files so take a look at it so now i have a app folder and a deployment folder in the app folder i have app.py docker file requirements.txt and my wsgi.ini now see what i've done deployment files i have a compost file i have environments and my kubernetes in my kubernetes i have all these files for example autoscaling.yaml config.yaml dashboard.yaml deployment.yaml customize dot yaml matrix dot yaml service dot yaml so essentially i broke down all of my big massive files into small small chunks right and then if you see environment i have two environments so for example when i do dev testing i just need two replicas for my qa testing i need four replicas so essentially stuff like that so uh, what customize says that you know if you wanna first of all uh, if you wanna do this you can break stuff into multiple sub uh, yaml file for example I'll show you deployment.yml file, right? So here is my deployment.yml file that has essentially, you know, pod and the image, for example. Then I have autoscaling.yml, which essentially does the autoscaling for me, right? Uh, based on the uh, target CPU percentage, about 50%, right? So essentially, and then I have my service.yml, um, which has my load balancer. So essentially, I broke things into multiple files. Uh, hopefully, you guys can uh, get what I'm trying to say. Uh, they say that you have to create a file called customization.yml file and now instead of saying you know kubectl apply minus f service.yml kubectl apply minus f this file that's tedious and boring define a resource and put all your files here right now you can easily come here and say for example uh, if i wanted to show you so i'm gonna come in the terminal and now i can easily say like this and look at the magic okay let me clear my terminal kubectl apply minus k and then you will say the folder name uh, let me come a directory back so here you can see that's my kubernetes folder right so i can say kubectl apply minus k and automatically it's gonna you know invoke all my yml files right so as you can see right it did all the job for for me right whatever was con uh, you know these are unchanged and these are configured right so beautiful right it took care of that right so that's that now the question comes well hey you know what i have all these environments like qa dev and i need changes based on each environment do i copy paste the code no 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 that's where this plugin customize come into place right so now again walking over that part so so what the author said essentially is uh, create a folder called environments here okay and then depending upon your environments you can have all these environments right dev and qa so now for example dev again create a file called customization.yaml remember this this was also here customization.yaml right so i created a file called customization.yaml and then i'll show you uh, in a second so now look what i've said I said basis is equal to dot dot slash slash dot dot slash Kubernetes. So that's going to be my base folder where you're going to get all the data, right? All the YAML file and then apply a patch, which means, you know, I want to override. I want to override my YAML. If I'm working on my dev environment, use two replicas, right? So now the way this works is absolutely amazing. So uh, 
So I'll show you in a in a second. So opening in, in this terminal now. So clear dir. Okay. So now uh, cd uh, so cd environments. Okay. Just gonna show you. So here I have my dev and QA, right? Uh, before that, I wanna come here. Yeah. So okay. I think I gotta log put my token again so that I can show you before I run this command. So parts. All right. So now take a look. Remember, I have custom. I have applied those patches, right? So when I'm working in QA, uh, if I can come here, or so let's say when I'm working in Dev, I need two replicas. So now the way you work is you say kubectl apply minus f and the folder name Dev. Uh, let me see. There is a small mistake. Uh, let's see. Give me one sec. Required field selector IO. If you choose to ignore this, uh, let me see what happened. Uh, the, the reason it's, oh, uh, yeah, the, I did not do it. It's K minus K, not F. So kubectl apply K dev. So K, uh, you can specify the flag and now you can see it automatically applies for my dev con configuration. In dev, I specified four repl uh, two replicas, right? Automatically it does that. Say now you're working on QA, right? QA, you want to test with four replicas, right? So I provide my replicas and I said four, right? Now I can just say QA and I do enter. Automatically now it's going to apply my QA configuration. So if I come here, as you can see four, and of course it has auto scaling, which means as the traffic comes, it's going to increase and decrease and, and so on, right? So what you see here is absolutely amazing because I could define my base, uh, essentially YML, you know, like deployment service, namespace and then wherever i want to apply patches for example i want to have a special configuration for qa or special configuration for dev like for example environment variables or a config map i could easily do do that using uh, this customize right I, I i liked it and i i highly encourage everybody to explore this further uh, right uh, it's really amazing you can come to their official documentation and they have a lot of details here so i'm gonna leave my lab section as I'm going to update the lab five to this code. So essentially previously I had one file with everything inside that 300 lines of code, right? But now what we did is essentially we broke things into multiple YML files, right? Matrix server.yml, config.yml, dashboard.yml, deployment, custom. Um, then uh, we have uh, matrix servers and service.yml, right? So essentially broke things into multiple YAML. Of course, we can break the resource object, the replicas and all, all that further as well. But I just wanted to show you uh, this tool and I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Uh, you can always go to the source code, which is there on my GitHub. And if you have any more questions, let me know uh, in the comment section below. I think my next uh, goals are going to be exploring Helm. So I've been hearing a lot of um, thoughts and feedback on Helm, right? So, hey, look into Helm. So that's that's the thing that I'm going to look into next after this part. OK, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember one thing, right? Kubernetes is a vast, very vast, right? Uh, the best way to learn is to go small. So if you see my tutorial series, I went with a very basic pod. Then I essentially added probes into that. Okay, then I added replicas into that. And then slowly, 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 I progressed down the line, right? I did not go for one entire load balancing, uh, auto scaling, everything, you know, everything in one. No, go slow, try things out. And that's the way you're going to learn. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling. I'll see you guys in the next video.